This is the third dirty data we are going to clean and this one has jumbled up customers details in the sense that every information about the customer has been exported from an ERP and this is how it basically comes out and we want to achieve a clean version that is going to look like this we have name we have address we have age and we have gender now when you look at the dirty version you are going to see that everything is basically together in the sense that if you check through each of the records of the data sets you will see that they all start with name first and then the person's name and then there is address and then the person's address and then there is age the person's age then there is gender and the person's gender comes after it and we want to separate that into separate columns like that so I have already imported this data into my power query so now we are going to separate them into different columns now one way for us to approach this is the fact that we can leverage power queries add columns so if i go to my power query add column now now remember that in power queries add column we have different groups of buttons that we have some of them are general they are not specific to any type of data some of them are specific to text some are specific to numbers others are specific to date and time and so on and so forth now this column of data we currently have that we want to separate into several columns is a text based column and we can leverage the extract option that we have inside the add column tab now you need to know that if you go to the transform tab we also have extract column there as a matter of fact, majority of the options you have in the Add Column tab are also available in the Transform tab. The only difference is when you use that button or when you use any of those buttons from the Add Column tab, you are getting a new column for or you are getting a new transformed column. So, in my Add Column tab right now, I have my column 1 selected. I am going to click on Extract. And the option I want to extract now is which one do you guess that I'm supposed to use here? Now, let's think about it together. If the person's name is usually sandwiched between the entry of name and address. So, for example, this first person's name is Hussein Hakim. And you can see the Hussein Hakim is right in the middle of name and address. The second person's name is Arojoe Samuel and you can see that Arojoe Samuel is right between name and address. Now, even if you want to take the person's address, you will see that this person's address is right between address and age, right? Now, if you want to take the person's age, which is 16 years old, you will see that the age is right between age and gender. So, what we're going to do here is if I go to my extract, I will be using text between delimiters and I will basically complete the form. So my start delimiter for the first one is going to be name and my end delimiter is going to be address exactly how it is spelled inside the data set. I'm going to click OK. That gives me their names. Now you are going to notice that this name has a leading space before it and that is because I am extracting between name i did not include the space after the name right there so i need to make sure i include that so i can come back to my applied steps i can right click on that step and edit settings just to edit my transformation so my start delimiter is going to be name with an extra space at the back and my end delimiter is going to be address with an extra space at the back so when i click ok that leading space is going to disappear from there really this column is supposed to be called name i can go into my formula bar clean what i have here and just type in name then i'm going to repeat the same thing for the address select the column one go to add column tab extract text between the limiters my address usually is sandwiched between address space and the next thing which is age space so if I click OK, that gives me each person's address and I also have to rename this properly as address. Then I can come back to click on the column 1, extract, text between the limiters. The age is something that comes between age, 
the next thing after the age is basically the age but after that you have the gender so the age comes between that and that i'm going to click ok here and that gives me the person's age which i need to rename this from text between the limiters to age and really this is meant to be like a whole number column so i'm going to change this to whole number and finally i need to take the person's gender so if i select column one i'm going to extract and then this is supposed to be text after delimiter since the last thing we have here is the gender so my delimiter is going to be gender with a space so anything after that is the last column we want to get out of here if i click ok i should have my genders in the last column i'm going to rename this as gender and i actually have to remove that column one it is now done with its service so i can right click on column one and remove